was point one of the merchants of the city of Lyon. Wow. City all throughout the East Park. Yes, the longest one exists still today in Iran is something like the 80 kilometers. As I told you, for the garden also it's something like the 50 kilometers, 60, 70 kilometers. They are in uh, artificial, like they, they dig it. Yes, exactly, exactly. by hand, by hand, by hand. Everything in this museum is about this knowledge. We call the name of this knowledge Ganot System. Ganot System. The deepest one also in, in Iran, in Khorasan, east of Iran, is also in the list of the UNESCO. It's 350 meters. The deepest one. Well, yeah, just imagine 2000 years ago, something like that. Also in Yaz, there are some canal systems. Every rich family also our hotel. Tonight we go there. It has an underground aqueduct for this irrigation system or water reserve. So, for winter time, they didn't have it. They didn't use water, for example, they used everything and also to keep for irrigation in the little garden and also later they have some little orchards to get. From the top you can see them, some of these little holes uh, from the ground. Yeah. Till today. Systems they are working in some places of the ground. Okay? No, I don't know. I don't So here there are some people, you can see how digging the soil yeah. and the well. Oil, oil lamp for that. And please wash your hair. Wow. Closer to your uh, well, This is a small and a bridge. To the yes. desert. Yes. Yaz, Ardakan, Mekwa, wow. some other city. That's mental. Without this water pipe system, Yaz wouldn't be as good as it exists. Not good, but it's not very big city. Nowadays it's a pipeline, but back then it was uh, basically uh, just it was underground water and it was not enough. So in every rich house there is a something like that. We are on the one floor underground, this is the second floor underground. It's deep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's deep, exactly. Because underground it's, it's cooler. It's super interesting. Thank you. 
situation for the people working down there. Yeah. And usually every few years they have to renovate this aqueduct system. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the soil. And imagine underground sometimes there are big stones, they have to have a navigation idea about that. It's a huge knowledge. Yeah. And to have an idea how to find the enough good underground water resource. Which way to go? Yeah, which way to go. So uh, air was not only this system, there is something extra, no. This is made of clay, the clay has so many tiny little holes, pores, and here is too dry, the water is coming through the surface, evaporate very fast because it's too dry and hot, keeping the water, keep the energy from the water inside. At least the temperature of the water is 15 or 2 to 20 degrees difference with the temperature of the yes. Without any electricity, they lose a part of water, but they keep the water. Yeah. That's impressive. Okay, over there also it's beautiful if you like to take a photo.